Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to getting that medical degree. So, um, we're talking about Naplex test, a little review. We're talking about bipolar. Take it away, Zach. Yeah, so it's bipolar. Um, yeah, let's get into this. I'm just going to tell you up front, you probably won't get many questions on your test about this. Same with anxiety, you probably won't get much on your test about that either. Just because, like, the drugs you're using, like, five different disease states, you might have a question about the drugs, but not really about the disease state that much. So for acute bipolar, manic, VPA or lithium or other antipsychotics, depressive ep episodes, you can use lithium, usually first line, and then lamictal. Maintenance is usually lithium or VPA for monotherapy. Lithium range is 0 0.6 to 1.2. Uh, make sure you know everything about lithium. Especially that range. 0 0.6 times that by 2 is 1.2. And that is your range. So you really have to know one number and then multiply by 2. Uh, the side effects. Tremors, thirst, weight gain, hypothyroidism. Pretty important to know. The toxicities. The range is greater than 1.5. You can have like coarse hands, tremoring, and pretty bad vomiting. The range is 2.5. CNS, depression, seizure, comas, and arrhythmias. It's also a uh, renally clear drug. So... Watch out for that creatinine clearance, which you should ha know how to calculate if you studied your calculations. So, yeah. The levels increase with low salt intake or if they're on an ACE inhibitor or an ARB. And their levels decrease if they increase their salt intake. So, decide to change your diet and change your salt intake. That could really screw them up with their levels and put them in a coma. So, this is probably why this is not really used like that often outpatient I don't think at least I don't see it that often I see other medications instead so you also have a risk of serotonin syndrome with serotonin drugs so pregnancies lurcidin and lamictal uh, lamictal can cause a rash so titrate slowly uh, you might be asked at pregnancy what to use and other options secondary antipsychotics Abilify, Zyprexa, Seroquel, Risperdone, Geodin, Latuda. I'll be honest, anything you'll probably be asked is lithium, anything lithium, and pregnancy, what to use. That's about it. I mean, there's not much here for this chapter. If you can do the RX prep quizzes on all these chapters, you should be fine for your exam. Really? Yeah, I mean, RX prep gives more detail than we probably need for your exam. So, the exam, the main goal of the exam is to make sure you don't kill someone. That's it. So if something's severe, know it. So lithium, 0 0.6 to 1.2 is the range. It's a very narrow range. And make sure you don't go over 2.5. Or they die, pretty much. So that pro probably will be on your test because it's a pretty severe, severe thing to know. That's all I got for this chapter, guys. It's pretty simple, straight to the point. No lithium. Know what to treat for pregnancy. That's pretty much it. See you guys next time.